Hey there, FX Limit family. Today we're diving into the riveting world of Forex trading, specifically honing in on the nitty-gritty of fundamental analysis. Now, whether you're a seasoned trader or just dipping your toes in the market waters, understanding the differences in analyzing major currency pairs versus exotic ones is a game-changer. Let's break it down. When we talk about major currency pairs, we're looking at the big players that include currencies like the US dollar, the euro, the British pound, and the Japanese yen, just to name a few. These are the currencies that rock the boat in the Forex sea, and their movement can make waves in your trading strategy. Now, the key to unlocking the potential of these majors lies in understanding economic indicators. We're talking about interest rates, unemployment figures, CPI readings, and GDP growth. These are the bread and butter of fundamental analysis for major pairs. Central banks are like the DJs of the Forex party, and when they change the interest rates, you better believe the currency is going to dance to a different beat. Employment data, for instance, can signal the health of an economy, and a strong report can boost a currency faster than you can say bullish breakout. Inflation rates are another heavyweight factor. They're like the economic thermostat, and central banks will twist and turn interest rates to keep inflation in check, affecting the value of the currency in the process. GDP growth, meanwhile, is like the scorecard of an economy's performance. A strong GDP reading can make a currency strut like it's on a runway. Now let's switch gears and talk about exotic currency pairs. These are the currency pairs that couple a major currency with the currency of a developing economy, like the South African Rand or the Turkish Lira. Exotic pairs are like the wild cards of the Forex world, less traded, but with the potential for big moves. With exotics, the fundamental analysis takes a turn down a more intricate path. Political stability plays a massive role here. An election result or a change in government policy can send an exotic currency soaring or sinking faster than you can close a trade. And because these currencies are often linked to commodity exports like oil, gold, or agricultural products, global commodity prices can have a big impact. Think of it like a dance between supply and demand. When global demand for a commodity goes up, so does the value of the currency of the country exporting it. Economic indicators are still important, but with a twist. Data like trade balances, foreign investment flows, and economic reforms can be crucial. You've got to keep an eye on how these economies are opening up to foreign investors or how they're managing their resources, as these can signal big moves in their currencies. It's important to remember that with exotic pairs, there's less liquidity, which means they can be more volatile and have wider spreads. This is where your trading acumen really comes into play. Timing is everything, and the risks can be higher, but oh, the rewards can be just as sweet for the savvy trader. In the end, whether you're analyzing major or exotic pairs, it all comes down to understanding the economic stories behind these currencies. It's like being a detective, piecing together clues from economic reports, political events, and global economic trends. The more you know, the better your chances of predicting which way the currency winds will blow. And that's a wrap on today's topic, FX Limit Fam. Remember, trading Forex is part art, part science, and all strategy. Whether you're trading the majors or getting adventurous with exotics, stay informed, stay nimble, and as always, manage that risk. Until next time, keep those charts up and those trades smart. Happy trading, folks!